Molecular Foundation instead of the Genome Foundation, and she announced this about two weeks ago. Uh, one more thing, and just just a couple more things, is uh, a distribution called SlamD64, which is based on Slackware, is basically dead now. And the reason it claims to be dead is it's kind of obsolete in the sense that I think they have 64 version now, 64 bit version of of uh, of Slackware, so the developer is not going to release any more of this distro. Now the last very quick thing is the Sabion is uh, being reviewed and they also share all kinds of news about the distribution and I think uh, Tim probably has something to say about the distribution because that's his favorite and I know he's just pretty he talked to us earlier about how he installs some more and more computers around his house and maybe some, some friends as well. No, I mean, I've, uh, have we decided how we pronounce it? Because I always say Sabion, but I'm sure that's just me being an ignorant uh, it's an Italian word or yeah. dish or something. I'm not sure how yeah. to. Because I, I I haven't I haven't actually looked at it, and it's another one we don't know how to pronounce. Or I certainly don't. Um, I I think I think Sabian is probably the best distro I've ever used. Um, I said it before. I'll say it again. Um, I've had zero zero issues with it from install to um, permanent updates. I, I mean, it's it's very well maintained. Um, it's rock solid. It's, in my opinion, it has the um, stability of Ubuntu 8.04, which I always class as the best version of Ubuntu I've ever used. Um, and I've been reading recently. There's been quite a lot, a lot of issues about some um, icons disappearing and uh, having to reinstall, and um, people having a real, a real difficult time with it. I've experienced none of that, so I can't really relate to any of it. Um, I did. The, it's a rolling release, as you know, with Sabion, so uh, um, mine was updated. Uh, recently and I've had no issues with it so I can't really see what these people are complaining about. Um, my proprietary drivers which I relish um, are working perfectly and uh, the system's stable, I haven't had a crash yet. Uh, so I can't really add anything to any sort of uh, savvy and like I say I haven't been keeping up with the news over the last few days so if there has been anything extra I'll be relying on you Roy to, to fill us in on any other bits and pieces. You know Sabion sounds like a sauce Yes, yes it does. Space with eggs or something. <laughs> how it's made. Have you ever, has anyone had that before? It's an Italian dish of some sort. Sabayon on toast. Right. So, so, uh, I mean, like I say, there was nothing else I could personally add about Sabion because I don't. I, I should really spend some time in the forums and spend time looking at the um, looking at the news in relation to it because it gives me so very little trouble. Um, I really don't uh, pay much uh, pay much That's interest in this news. They had a major deal with, uh, I think, a web host or something. And uh, one major thing that stayed on my mind, I saw a photo of them receiving a new server to uh, be able to, 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 to meet the demand of the... Apparently they get lots of downloads. I'm not sure if from Europe or maybe South America or something, but they do get quite a lot of downloads. And recently I saw an amazing number. I'm not sure how they calculate this, but I think they put it on the page. They, I, I cannot tell you the number and be sure, but it's it's like millions upon millions of downloads. They claim like maybe 10 million downloads, probably all versions combined. But it's it's well, one of those things that probably have an amazing impact. Lots of people installing, but you don't even know about it. Well, it's um, I mean it's currently number six. I know that we shouldn't hold too much faith in the charts, but the Distro Watch currently have it at six um, six in, in the charts, um, which is pretty good going considering that it's competing with you know Debian, OpenSUSE, Mint, Fedora, and Ubuntu. I think that's pre pretty good going because uh, Sabion isn't as well known as uh, Ubuntu. It doesn't sort of have the same uh, impact in the, on the web in general as Ubuntu. Say, so, um, so I, I think it's doing really well. It's it's, it's a really great uh, Distro, and I recommend it to everybody. Um, that I talked to because, uh, like I say, it hasn't failed me yet. Touch wood. So, uh, but no. I, um, what we'll do now, if there's no other news from yourself, Roy, because the we're now I think we're nearly hitting a record for duration of the of the audio cast. Uh, no, we've done over two hours before, so this isn't the. Uh... Isn't it the record? Yes, it's certainly. Yeah. Getting... We did like uh, two hundred and no, sorry, yeah. I'm just going to say, yeah, two hours and something would be like 120 plus uh, minutes. Or uh, This is 20, 90, probably about 93, 94 minutes now if you include the theme song. But I know it's almost midnight here, so we probably uh, should start closing. Yeah. Well, 
I'll um I'll, I'll just go through through a few closing things. As uh, as uh, people are aware now, we've got Gordon on board, hopefully permanently. Um, the nice thing about this uh, audio cast now, which was explained in the last episode, was that uh, I'm coming from around about the London area. Roy's coming from Manchester, and uh, Gordon's up in Scotland. So we're covering the uh, entire length of the UK, which is uh, hopefully unique for an audio cast. So I'd like to thank Gordon for. Um, coming back on the show and uh, putting up with us for nearly, well, for a good hour and a bit. Um, hope you'll come on the next one um, and hope you'll stay coming with us. So, uh, Roy's going to no. take us... Sorry. Sorry, I was going to say it kept me awake. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and the, the alternative um, was, listen, the England game on the radio, which apparently they didn't uh, by half time, they were not doing well tonight. So, But yeah, I hope... Um, as a Scot, I hope England did well tonight. So, <laughs> anyway, that's um, what I'd say Gordon. to the what I'd say to the uh, people listening as well is that Gordon's um, site will be included in the show notes, and obviously his email address will be there as well. And please uh, send him some emails of uh, anything you've got for him as well. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll be part of the show in the future. Tonight we're going to end with a, a different track, as we've tried to do uh, in the last few shows. And uh, Roy's going to be introducing this one before it uh, closes the show. So yeah. uh, over to you, Roy, with we the introduction. to try and increase some exposure to people who want their music shared, as opposed to people who want to hunt down people who share their music. Uh, so today's uh, track, I just chose one of the, the, the things I've been listening to when I download the uh, uh, one of the con- one of the events where they have the artist try to find a broader audience. And uh, this uh, this track is called "Violent uh, Yet Flammable World," and uh, it's kind of it's kind of a strange one. And you have to bear in mind that uh, I don't choose necessarily the tracks I like the most, but this is one of those tracks that I kind of think is. Uh, is reasonably is reasonably good and is actually free and the singer wants some exposure so uh, in the coming show in the next few shows uh, we'll try to give exposure to these uh, groups as we you know we find we have a pool of about a thousand songs but to be honest quite a few of them aren't that great but you do find a certain percent of them which are um, worth listening to and this is one of them so anyway It's a pity. 